Welcome to the 23rd Creature Fridays video where we're going to take a look at Cisindella sylvatica or the heath tiger beetle. If you're new here, my name's Emily and I'm a zoologist with experience in a range of different types of work and a really big passion for bringing free educational videos about nature to you. It's great to have you here and I'm always ready in the comments below to answer any questions you have on the topics that we cover in these videos. On a few isolated English sites of Dorset, Hampshire, Sussex and Surrey, you can spot one of Britain's rare beetles. This heath tiger beetle, sometimes known as the wood tiger beetle, lives on a Dorset heathland, the traditional stronghold for this species. Over half of the heath tiger beetle population has disappeared in the last 25 years, and this is largely related to the beetle's dependency on heathland habitats. Humans are historically connected to heathlands. We have a history of living within them, collecting firewood from them, and grazing our animals on them. This kept the habitat open, with bare ground that the heath tiger beetle could utilise. With the loss of 80% of our heathlands, there is just not enough land to support the populations of the beetles there once were. With humanity moving to urban living, the remaining heathlands are reverting to poor quality woodland and negatively impacting a variety of heathland specialist species. This heath tiger beetle is a fearsome predator, stalking along open ground in search of invertebrate prey. He has large eyes to help his search and strong jaws to catch his meal. At 1.8 centimetres long, he is Britain's largest tiger beetle and dominates his invertebrate landscape. Nearby, among the taller heather, a female is resting under cover. It's late spring and she has recently laid her eggs into the ground. She spots a prey species nearby and takes flight into the air, spreading her dark wing cases, flashing their light stripes, ready to strike. Looking closely at the ground that she has flown over, you can spot the entrance to a vertical burrow within the sandy ground. A heath tiger beetle larvae spends the start of its life here, waiting for invertebrates to pass by. It will ambush them and feast, using the energy it gains to grow. It will pupate within this burrow before it emerges as a flying adult. Like all known heath tiger beetle populations in the UK, this population lives on a protected area of land. Populations either exist on nature reserves or on sites of special scientific interest, which is helpful to the species because the management should be sympathetic to their needs and should be working to help restore their numbers. If you want to support me in continuing to create these free educational videos, then check out my new Patreon page. I have five different monthly support tiers to choose from, ranging from just £2 up to the higher tiers where you can vote for video topics, have your name credited at the end of each video, receive personalised art of any UK species, and get one-on-one -on -one consultation calls with me on any nature-related topic of your choice. Subscribe to Ferroforest to keep learning about UK nature.